I'm Tommy Miles. Welcome to Atlanta, a city with a dating problem. She love a bad boy like me. Oh, she bad as hell. I am a African-American woman in a predominantly black city with 20 women to one man. This ain't no one out here can find love. Oh, oh, oh. oh, that's about to change. For the next 10 weeks, we're bringing 20 single people together find something real. I broke up with my girlfriend of six years. Why? She wasn't forever. My life is so dope. The only thing missing is somebody to share it with. That's it. These singles are here because they want a serious relationship. First the women will narrow down the men, and the men will narrow down the women, until only three couples remain. Hopefully, soulmates. Three? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Why is that Nine. It's time to find out if a group of quality singles here in Atlanta are really ready to love. Hi, I'm Stormy. Stormy? Yes. Well, God damn. <laughs> Meeting the guys. I'm just so excited. This experience is what I need. Being a strong, dominant black woman, I don't have a problem approaching men. I'm aggressive. I'm Shantae. Yeah, Shantae, I'm Alex, Shantae. Yeah, you're nice. Yeah. I hope I do the same thing to you, girl. You, you better know. not get all right now. Uh, uh, hey. But I meet men who are just not ready to commit. I'm tired of going home to myself. I'm flicking on them lights and, honey, I'm home. No, ain't nobody here. Nobody but them walls. What has dating in Atlanta been like for you? Hell. Really? <laughs> they kind of look at you like, what you got on, what you got, you know, uh, what can you do for me attitude. Yeah. It's really hard dating in Atlanta because everybody's generally on a facade tip or, you know, trying to be something that they're not. I mean, what about, you know, just the cool average guy? What about the cool average girl who's just very, very down to earth and subtle and, you know, just, just really looking for something genuine. So, so how long have you been in Georgia? Five years. Five years. Mm -hmm. so out of five years, you are outstandingly gorgeous. Thank you. You haven't found no one. I've been in uh, two relationships. Okay. Those didn't, didn't work out, yeah. People look at me and they think, nah, Tiff, she's bougie. You know, she looks like she's born with a silver spoon in her mouth. No. I've come from the hood. One of the ultimate prices I had to pay was getting in a fight and getting my face cut from here to here. 133 stitches over a boy. It taught me a lot. It's very rare to see somebody that has that glow. Through all my relationships, I've gone into this protective cocoon around myself. I don't want to be that way anymore. I want love. Michael Anthony. <laughs> nice to meet you, man. Tiffany. Tiffany, nice, nice to meet you. I don't go to a lot of places that people go to date. Where are you from? I'm Saginaw, Michigan. Oh, Midwest. Wow. Yeah. I don't go to clubs. If I see a woman in the gym, she's working out. I don't want to be the guy with a girl with the headphones on like, hey, excuse me, uh, hey, let me interrupt you while you're on the treadmill, breathing hard. In Walmart, she in there with the kids, they yelling, grabbing stuff. Put that back. That's a bad time. It's just hard for me. My name is Chris Evans. I was married for 15 years. I have been single 12 years. What's up, man? I'm Chris. Mike, Mike. Mike, nice to meet you, Mike. How's everybody doing? It's time to end that stretch. What do you do out here? I'm a full-time pastor. So pastor Chris. Pastor Chris. OK. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. I'm in the Bible Belt, so I get stereotyped immediately. They think it's all these rules and regulations. She got to wear a big old hat to church with bananas and oranges and apples in it. God lives in a perpetual now. But the reality is, Pastor Chris and Chris is two different worlds. It's the swag. It's the pastor swag. Praise the Lord. Everybody praise the Lord. Yeah. How are you? Hi, my name is Dr. Lexi. Very beautiful. Thank you. Red and the gold. Yeah. You're like a little goddess. Everybody knows me as Paco. I'm 50 years old, living in ATL. Back in the day, it was wild times. I was in a hot rock band, blonde hair, 
piercings, tattoos. I was a black rock star. But now, the more seasoned Paco is a lot more mature. He's committed. He has consistency. Hey! What's happening? What's happening, folks? How's everybody? I'm here. Paco. Stormy. I'm in this journey because I'm not trying to be the old man in the club, the party animal, the turn up guy. Paco's ready to love. What's up, Paco? Well, I said I'm here. Hey! There we go. Yes. Welcome, everyone. All right. Oh, wait a minute. Nephew Tommy. Hey. Oh, I'm sick of sick in that. Don't be shy. Everybody gather around. First and foremost, welcome everybody. Oh, wow. I'm your host, Tommy Miles. And damn, this is one fine, good-looking group of people. <laughs> Y'all, I hear it all the time. Atlanta has got a dating problem. Mm. In the ATL, they say women outnumber the men 20 to 1. Yes, sir. Women say there isn't one quality man in this city. And around here, commitment, that's a dirty word. Unfortunately, yeah. yeah. It seems impossible to find love. Ladies and gentlemen, we here to solve yeah. this. We searched the city. We brought together 20 men and women who all say the same thing. They ready for something real. Now, I'm not talking to a bunch of college kids. Y'all some grown-ass people. Some of y'all been in serious relationships. Some of y'all even been married. For whatever reason, none of that has worked out. It's time to try something different. I'll be here to guide you through, give you some advice, and I know a thing or two about a successful relationship. I've been with my wife for over 32 years. That's right, 32. Yeah! I can pump my chest on that, yes, sir. <laughs> Now, we're keeping it real. Just like the ATL, there's more women than men. Hey, it's 12 girls and eight guys. Uh-oh. I was um, a little taken aback, but then I thought about it, and I was like, this is real life. So, ladies, bring it. Now, look around at the people standing next to you. Because some of them won't be here at the end of this journey. Wow. Oh. There's 20 of you here now. By the end of this 10-week journey, only six people mm. will remain. Three couples who found love. How's this gonna work? Every gentleman knows it's always ladies first. So tonight, the ladies will pick five of these eight men that they would like to continue dating. Fellas, you know what this means. You gotta bring your A game. Show these women who you really are. Because three of you are not making it past tonight. Real talk, man, I didn't come here to meet all these amazing women just to go home on the first night. My plan now is meet, greet, and talk to these women. Let them know who Paco is, let them feel Paco, and find me someone so we can keep this journey going. Ladies, make sure you also keep it real because guess what, eventually, the tables will turn and these guys will decide which of you get to stick around. Okay. Uh -uh. Now, let that marinate. Y'all ready to put in some work? Yeah. Do you want a relationship? Yeah. We're gonna have a toast. All right. Time to show the ATL that you are RTL. Ready to love. All right now. Cheers. All right now. Hey. I'm ready. Y'all start mingling. I'm gonna be back to holler at y'all through the night, all right? Hey. All right, all right. Salute. Tastes like love. Tastes like love. <laughs> Tommy kept it real, didn't he? So how do you feel, Aaron? I'm here for it. Okay. I'm hoping someone sees the value in me, because I see the value in you. Well, I tried to find out a little bit more about you, but you just told me your name was Aaron. Ooh. Come on now. You got a right. Does he need the mic? Right, right. I'm coming more then. I'm coming more. I'm coming Is more. this a proposal? No, no, no. <laughs> I'm liking that. In Atlanta, it's always the women feeling like they have to be perfect and impress the man or keep the man's attention, but this night? They had to do that for us, and it feels pretty darn good. Throw it all out there. Hey! I'm dating for purpose. I do have a 10-year-old son. I want him to see an up-close and personal view of a family. No more dating just because I want to be out with someone. I'm dating because I have a goal of being in love and getting married. <laughs> Keep it real. Yeah, yeah, I see the pecs. See everything coming through there. So let me ask you, what are you here for? I've just really had this desire to have a child, but I don't want to be a single parent. It's extremely difficult dating as a flight attendant. I'm never home, I travel a lot, and then I have to deal with the stigmas that you have a boyfriend in every city. I just want to find someone who knows what he wants, and what he wants is a wife and have a nice family. 
Well, I've been married. I've been married twice. Twice? You know, twice. Oh, that's yes, interesting. I have, I have. First was seven years, second was five. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, Why? So. What happened? I was, the first one I was young. I guess the, the number one question is, did you cheat? Wow. I'm gonna be transparent. Please. And that's what I'm here for. Okay. Yes. In both marriages or just one? I guess the, the number one question is, did you cheat? Wow. I'm gonna be transparent. Please. And that's what I'm here for. Okay. Yes. In both marriages or just one? In both. Okay. In both. Even after my marriage, I was in a, a relationship for about two years. Never cheated on her. I'm trying to be as transparent as possible and open up. I'm not bragging, I, I was an ass. We were very young. We really didn't know what marriage was. People think a tiger can't change his stripes, but I'm here to tell you, I've changed my stripes. I'm done. We need to know that you want to be here. We only got a little bit more time, so let's get to know you. I'm ready. I'm, re I'm ready. You, you got questions? I'm. Hold on. Let the me just sit up straight. The number one question is, are you ready for love? Absolutely. Oh. Three men are leaving tonight. I'm like, I need to talk to him, 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 and I need to size up who could stay, who could go. I've never Be cheated honest. in my life. You've never cheated on a girl in your life? No. Five sisters and my mom's. My pops moved out when I was six. I have no interest in cheating. I understand marriage is a life partnership. I'm not ready to promise forever for some people that I don't know they're going to be here forever. Once I find her, though, I'm going to lock in. Love for me isn't what I can give you. Love for me is what I'm willing to sacrifice for you. So I was like, yeah. It is. I'm like, Lord, tell me I'm not going home the first night. I've got to check out my competition. <laughs> Mike, with all these muscles, they might be a little challenging. Alex bringing ladies drinks. He was a gentleman. Man, that's amazing. See, you showed us up already, Alex. Then there's Aaron. Hot out here today. That's my boo. That's bad. That's mine. That's Y'all can look. Go ahead. Come on, babe. He's running around pulling his shirt up. Do it again. I didn't really see it. Showing girls his six pack. No one ain't got no six pack to show these girls. Get I'm going to talk to my friend right here. I know in my heart I am an incredible guy. Bye, y'all. But I don't know if the women truly see what's right in front of them. Now, tell me about the tattoo on your back. I was trying to figure it out. you see that? I was like, look at that. Yes, that's my bad side coming out. Ooh. <laughs> 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 <No. laughs> Storming. Drop dead gorgeous. And we just hit it off immediately. What would be your idea of this guy's a pastor? I think it will be more of your idea of uh, okay. I'm Stormy. Oh, you're Stormy. And could you yeah. deal with me? Could I deal with Stormy? Could you handle the storm? I'm a professional international DJ. EDM is my niche. I typically meet guys in the nightlife here in Atlanta, but it's all game. It's probably not where I need to be looking. Can you handle the storm? I can handle the storm, girl. I can handle a lot of storm. <laughs> Thunderstorm, hurricane. I was looking for the tall, dark, and chocolate. Don't lie. But he was drawn to me, and I was drawn to his energy. He's funny. I mean, what can I say? Ah, come on, girl. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Wait, you're, yeah. Do you live in the lobster? Yeah. I'm like terribly nervous right now. <laughs> this is embarrassing. That's fun. That's exciting. My last relationship ended because she was uh, unfaithful. This was a woman I was getting ready to marry. We were engaged, but got to move on. What do you do here? Uh, I own an insurance agency. Oh, OK, that's cool. Ooh. Got good credit. Uh, got all my teeth. I'm in great shape. <sighs> so yeah, I think I'm a great catch. Hold on one second, let me get some water. I know. <laughs> what do you do here? I'm an artist and entrepreneur. And then I, I co-direct a platform. One's called Black Men Smile, another one's called Beautiful in Every Shade. Oh. Black Men Smile is a platform that really just put out images and created a space for black men to celebrate themselves in a more brilliant light. So it's very important. 
at least to me. Yeah, you should, next time you see a black man, you should ask him what makes you smile. What makes you smile, black man? You, just like that. <laughs> My longest relationship has been three years. It ended because at the time I didn't feel like I could do relationship and my career. Quite frankly, I just wasn't willing to. For me, the challenge has been actively learning how to date. I'm an actor, model, musician. I am the co-director of Black Men Smile and Beautiful in Every Shade. Black Men Smile. Black Men Smile. Black Men Smile. Hopefully one day we'll, we'll produce a whole documentary around the thing. He was talking so much, he didn't allow me to get in to say a word. It was like, hey, I know you have a lot to talk about, but I do too. So all three of you, are you all willing, if you fell in love again, to have a child, another child? In the right situation, I would. Well, I'm asking y'all, I don't have children. Kids are a sacrifice. Kids are your purpose. Lineage, to carry on your lineage is your purpose. I really, really want to have children, man. Like, women have always said, oh my god, no kids. And it's like, it's a plus. But at this point, for me, it's not a plus. Whatever I'm building, I'm building for someone else. At this point, just trying to acquire things for myself, it just feels like selfishness. My fear is that having a baby and then all that responsibility getting schlepped on me again. Recently, my son graduated from high school. I never got a dime of child support, but I know that I did everything to make sure my son has made it through. The woman that catches my attention is the boss. Now I'm looking at this woman, Shay, and I'm talking about an angel up here. Angel, is that you? Looking down on me and this woman? It was an angel. I would have to be so deeply in love with you. If you marry a man, that's the question. You it marry be, a man, would you give him my, children? It would be definitely my gift to him. OK. I thought it was an angel, but really, I think it was Cupid. He had that thing on me, that arrow pulled back all hard. I said, Cupid, it's too early, man. And I think he shot me. So how many kids you want to have? I'm coming with twins on the first go. Oh. <laughs> I had a conversation with Paco. Infidelity in both marriages. Oh, wow. Oh. What you get married for again? You guys wow. have been, like, attached to the hip since we walked in here. He would have my vote to be off. Okay. Aaron, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Paco. Paco, Paco, yeah. that's right. Have any of you open to dating someone who's been married before? Been married? Yeah. Maybe been married twice? Twice before. Ooh, tell us the tea. Tell us yeah. the tea. Give us the tea. I had a very nice conversation with Paco. Mm -hmm. Suave, smooth. Okay. Very nice guy. I said, well, third what time happens? Yeah, Infidelity in both marriages. On his part? Oh, wow. Oh. Two? You couldn't get it together after the first one? What you get married for again? He confessed to that. Yeah. yeah. I just got to tell you, you probably already know this. I'm a little extra so in everything say, that I do. Dr. Lex is a beautiful woman, a little eccentric for me. But at the same time, I don't want to disqualify somebody without getting to know the essence of who they are. So what do you mean you're extra? I mean, I go the extra mile in everything that I do. When it comes to my career, I go the extra mile. Mm -hmm. When it comes to my children, I go the extra mile. When it comes to education, as you can see up here, I go the extra mile. So you say you're high maintenance? I maintain myself. OK. I do not want someone that is not okay with me being expressive of who I am, because it's only one Dr. Lexi. There's right. There's nothing wrong right. with being a little extra. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little that, I have to say. You feeling pretty good? I feel great. It's hot. It is hot. And it's sweaty, <laughs> but hey. it is nice. This guy, his name is Aaron. Be with me, Jesus. I got up from that table over there so I could come and get you. <laughs> his smile, oh my God, his smile was just like contagious. Are you looking for a committed relationship? Are you looking for marriage? Like, tell me what you're looking for. So I take it step by step. First things first, friendship. And then from there, I'm looking for it to grow to the next level. You're definitely my type. I'm living this fabulous life, and I don't have anybody to share yeah. it with. You yeah. know? I am doing well in my career. I just, it's a lonely feeling to have everything, and you're happy, right? But there's only this, this one thing that keeps me up at night, and that is having a partner to share my life with. 
You've been a special connection. You've been a special connection. Special connection. Like, what did you say? She had an animal. Oh, I know you started oh, you to be a gentleman, darling. Right, he's scared of you. High five, man. <laughs> There's some beautiful women here tonight, man. I gotta make something happen. So you've been single three years. Three years. And you did? I did what? I was broken. Welcome to the group. Tell us what happened. Yes. I ain't telling you what happened, but just know <laughs> she did. Just spit it out. Did she cheat? Uh, spit it out. No speak man. To, speak into my no mic. man wants to admit that. Darnell is a little shy. He seems like not comfortable with putting himself out there to really get to know the women. I was just, you know, at that age where I want to settle down. Why do we man. always do this? What does this mean? Because I'm trying to grasp the, the words. Grab the words. Grab the words. I want all of that. Darnell is extremely handsome, head perfectly shaved. He went to probably a really good barber because all of this was lined up to a T and he didn't have that taco meat. You know how sometimes the barbers forget right here? He didn't have that taco meat right here. He was good. I just don't put myself in positions to, I don't know. I don't horrible. really do it. Yeah. He has that natural sexy. He just didn't know how to wear it that well. I mean, I'm I'm just I'm just ready. 36 years old, you oh, know, you no no kid. Oh, thank you. I you know, they say that black don't crack. <laughs>Why is he such a pastor giving me these congregational hugs? <laughs> <laughs> pastor Chris being on this journey, I'm shocked because I'm like, baby, you can't just be looking for no regular woman. You have to look for a first lady, the epitome of the women in your church. I want to know, what are you looking for? Because I just, I'm trying to get over the pastor part. I'm just going to step on hey. the conversation. Yeah. You saved me, girl. So first of all, I didn't know you was the pastor. I think I cursed oh, at least three yeah. times. And drinking Hennessy. Ooh. You were drinking some Hennessy. I was. I was oh, like, it's the pastor. <laughs> <laughs> is he going to oh, pray over hands. me? Do I need to be delivered? Because no, I did good. have like three you Hennessy. Good. Dealing with the pastor, you have to kind of hold back a little bit. A lot of the ladies are not too fond of the fact that I'm a pastor. They think that if I marry this pastor, then I got to adjust my whole life. I'm not the person that's going to be like, right. that's not me. It's just my upbringing. Yeah. It's the battle you have, yeah. you know, trying to find a woman who can handle Chris and yeah. Pastor Chris. Oh, so it's two different people. Not two different people, well, two different aspects. Tonight, three people are gonna go home. I really am here looking to find love. And I've made this wonderful connection with Stormy, but I'm not sure. Am I gonna make the cut? He's sweating, Lord. He's oh, fixing, Lord. Fix him, Jesus. Chris goes home, that's it for me. I didn't make a connection tonight with anybody else as strong as I did with Chris, so that bothers me. I'm worried. Who is like one that you're not feeling so much? Michael. Mike is not for me, I'm not for him. We started the night with eight men, but only five will make it from here. I bring a lot to the table. No baby mamas to, you know, bother you. Gambia, okay. that's where my father's from. You having <laughs> some babies, you understand? You having them twins. One on this side, one on that side, uh -uh. they will come out. Be looking like what National happened? Geographic what boobies. Cheers. <laughs> You're real laid back. I like that. You think so? I do. That's important to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a particular somebody that I like. He's really feeling the girl. That's true. Okay. He's really feeling her. Yo, thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. You're handsome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching that closely. Does he have a white shirt on? He has a super six pack. Oh. That's I not seen that. You know, I just want to kind of let you know that I got my eye. <laughs> Black eye. <laughs> but I'm going to break that <laughs> Damn, <man. laughs> That's just... Oh, hey, well, I'm sorry. That's Started out like, what am I, chop liver? Yeah, y'all have that. <laughs> Good luck. I want to see the six pack, because I oh, didn't get to see... It? No, I have not talked to him. I'm like, hold on, man. This ain't the only in-shape dude in here. <laughs> but I stayed reserved. I'm just talking stuff. No, you're not. Aaron, my abs are better than yours, but I, I let you live, brother. You welcome. This is amazing under here. You welcome. This <laughs> don't make me take my shirt off, bro. <laughs> Ever would believe this. Me and my sister used to rap. Yeah. We used to rap. Yeah. bars, eight bars, Word. hook, bridge, outro, Stop intro. It. Like, what you want me to do? Tiffany. Man, that girl is dreamy. I gotta get my ass back into the what? gym. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm, I'm not really 
of the car that the way I need. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah. Look it. Let me get out of here. I'm definitely hoping to be one of those lucky people to find love. That's that's hard to come by in this day and age. Feel nothing. You know what I'm saying? Let me see. Let me see. Yeah. Nah, you good. Seeing different beautiful women from different backgrounds and, you know, just seeing, you know, different shapes and sizes. I have to talk to the other women and give them a shot to get to know me. You got makeup on? Oh, stop it. No, I'm just, <laughs> I'm, cute. For, you got makeup on? You know it? I got makeup on. Man, I ain't know that <laughs> Down to earth personality. Is from so much. When you have a air of confidence about yourself, men don't normally just come and approach you. You know why? Yeah, tell me why. Yeah, tell I want to know why. why. Please. Yes. I thought men like challenges. Yes. Men don't yes. like to be challenged. Men love like... challenges, but only when they know for a fact they can win. that they have either more than what you have or that they can win. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. It's really a confidence barrier. It's all it is. <laughs> stop it, I say. No, don't stop. Keep going. <laughs> It's been so hard to even talk to people because everybody's already kind of paired up a little bit. The one that really caught my eye at first. Um, what's his name? Mike. Oh, you mean uh, Mr. Married? Man. Oh, yeah, girl. Tim and Shay already married. Shay and Michael, they in their own little station. They got an invisible cabana going on with VIP ropes and everything. You can't even get to them. They've been in love since they got here. He would have my vote to be off. He's very attractive. But the purpose of us being here is to find love. Three guys gotta go tonight. It being his best interest to get to know the other woman. This elimination's coming up, baby. Uh, he's not serving that. a purpose for me. True. So they can go be happily ever Ooh. after while I look. I love children. I just never had any of my own. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm gonna right. have a nice <laughs> child. Guess what? My first child is gonna be named. What's what? the name gonna be? Legend. Oh. Word, that's dope. Girl or boy, that would be Either great. Way. That's yeah. gonna be beautiful. That's dope. Don't I'm take that. Girl. None I'm of y'all. <laughs> Ashley's young, she's uh, she's vibrant. It flows organically, so I like that. What about you? I, you, know. I know you done thought about some children there. Like, I work with kids and I have so many little brothers, like, I have raised them. I love kids, that's what I do for a living. I work in the school system as a speech therapist. Well, how old are you? 31. She's 31. Oh, you still, yeah, so you, you still I only got a little time now. I was dating this individual, five kids, five different baby moms, and I said, Ashley, could you really hear five different little sets of feet running around here? Could you really pay half of this man child support? Because he ain't got no job. He just had me locked in. He was my aha moment. Where is my papa? Give me my spinach. Pumped up these damn arms. Get your ass up out of here. And I kicked him out. And I felt so freaking good after that because that was my first step into the light. I'm going to have the baby before you. <laughs> you ain't having no baby. Y'all could be having the baby together. Give her some water. We don't need her getting no more rowdy. My man, 20 grand. There we go. Thank you, brother. I haven't drank at all. How have you been doing? You know what? This is this is a libation. I ain't you are exactly right. Hey, y'all. Hey. What's hey, up, ladies? How y'all doing? Can we join y'all? We got to get y'all some chairs. <laughs> Mike, stereotypically what Rhea likes. Nice bald head, nice frame, but his attention is somewhere else. So I just wanted to join the lovebirds. You guys wow. have been like attached to the hips since we walked in here. You don't realize it, but you have been. When I first saw you, I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta go get to know him. But I'm gonna be honest with you. Every time I came over towards your way, you was in Shay's grill like. I've to you three yes. times and you haven't said anything back. Three or four times, yes, you have said nothing. Yes. <clears throat> If he was interested in you, it's very easy to segue out of a conversation. But that's up to Mike. I'm not holding anybody hostage. I'm no. still really considering who to vote off. I personally want to know, are you still available? Wow. So who is, like, one that you're not feeling so much? We got to get to it now. We finna tally this up tonight. You oh, know? you want tally? There's three people going on tonight. I personally want to know, are you still available? Wow. <laughs> She's gorgeous. I just want to know if you're still available, if we can have conversation, if we can get to know you. Of course we can have a conversation. I don't aim to hurt people's feelings, but feelings are going to get hurt. We are here to date and find out if we connect or not. And Shay captured my attention for real. Man, I need some more drinks. This is pressure. This is a hot seat. Man, uh, you 
you are so fine. That's crazy. You are sexy. You are sexy. If, if I'm fine and you gorgeous, that must mean that uh, yeah, we need to pursue this. Alex. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. What's up, brother? I'm good, baby. You all right? Hey, man, I'm cold kicking right, it, man. I see y'all over here all cozy. Can I talk to Tiffany for a minute? Man, how long? <laughs> Dude, I ain't gonna take too much time. Well, okay, well, go ahead, brother. Okay, do if you don't skip, yes, can I have your seat? Yes, you can, brother. Y'all just seat. met. Y'all yes, that close yeah, already? Already. Oh, already. <laughs> how are you doing? I'm good, Miss Tiff. How you doing? Maybe. I'm good, you yeah? know? You and Alex look, look pretty uh, close over here. Well, I think Alex, Alex got some depth to him. Really? It, it's not just the facade now. Right. You know. Give me the top two. Tommy. We got to get to it now. We got to get all the way to the grits of it, baby. We finna tally this up tonight. You oh, know? you want to tally? There's three people going home tonight. Alex, I would say he's definitely up there. Wow, get it. And I would say Aaron. Yeah. <laughs> I made a connection with Chris. Chris. Come on, girl. Yes. Aaron. Yeah. Devin is so intelligent. I could talk to him for hours. Okay. My number one would be Keba. Okay. He's tall, he's chocolate, I love his voice. He African too, girl. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Aaron has been exposing his body <laughs> to every woman I hear. How do I hear today? I would she not have known me. about his six pack okay. had Miss Melinda not it been bragging about it. You got to keep it to yourself. <laughs> All right, so who is like, one that you're not feeling so much. Not feeling? Yeah. Michael. <laughs> Mike, with the bald head. Look like a little Eminem with a beard. Because right. he's been talking to one girl all day. All day. All day. All okay. day. All day. Did you have a conversation with Devin? I did. Devin is deep. Is there an attraction to Devin? Oh, yeah. Paco. <laughs> yeah. Paco just got too much. Uh, too much going on? Yeah. What about Darnell? Darnell cute? Darnell. My brother, my little brother, he's in that friend zone already. And Pastor Chris. Okay. So Chris I like Chris. and Paco. I like Chris, too, but I just don't see myself. I can see myself being the first lady. It's going to get interesting tonight. The ladies control who gets to stay and who leaves. So I like that. I like that control. This is about to really get interesting. I'll see y'all later tonight, OK? okay Tommy. All right, Tommy. <laughs> What's going on, hey, Big Alex? How you doing, man? I'm all right, man. Good to see you. Let's talk, let's talk, baby. Aaron, can I talk for a minute? Sure. Yes, sir, yes, sir. How you doing, man? I'm doing good. That's an amazing night. Who you feeling? Uh, Melinda and hot. Angel. They've got different qualities, but great qualities. OK. Tiffany's gorgeous, man. You think that's probably what you've been missing? Yeah. If you don't make it out tonight, how you going to feel about this, baby? Be honest with you, I don't think I'm going nowhere. They like that chocolaticity around here. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Choc 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 chocolaticity, bro. <laughs> yeah. Up in here, you showing your stomach, showing your six You know? Bag. No, I, I, no, I wasn't showing it. I was hot. It was sweating in the sun. It was hot. All I did was just. You wrote, you raised your shirt. I just went like that. Okay. Well, I raised it up a little bit. A little bit higher than that. <laughs> a little bit higher than that. So, I got the verdict. I'm the ladies on you. Let me say this, man. Talk to everybody. So my question to you is, you want to know now, or you want me to tell you when I tell everybody else? You should have told me straight, man. Let me know now. All right, brother. You know, the ladies have decided, man. I'm sorry to inform you. But you made it to the second part of the journey, baby. <laughs> <laughs> they want you to stay on this journey, OK? <laughs> That's dope. Of course I'm excited. At the end of the day, I'm here to look for a genuine connection. So although there's attention from all these women, I'm just looking for attention from the right one. Congratulations on getting married, man. Thank all you, right. bro. There's a lot of cool guys out here tonight. And for the ladies to relate to me and really see the genuine love and, and, and spirit within me means a lot. Chocolate tits Hey, <laughs> in the house. If you cheat on us or you mess with another woman, our trust, our loyalty to you, then that's all been demolished. Right. Mm -hmm. But you know the difference with that? A man can cheat on a woman, and the woman will stay with the man. If a woman cheat on a man, it's over. That's Look a double you. standard, though. It, 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 it is what it so is. a double standard. If you cheat on me, we are done. That's some nonsense. Uh, yeah, Why? Because you can't, you, 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 you with that woman and you picture in this and you picked it up. Yeah, it is, though. It's not that. 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 It
this thing? woman. Oh, Look no. at me. Look at me. Paco. Look at me. Paco. Paco. You don't think we ain't thinking that yes. you. I, no, but I ain't thinking about what you're thinking. Yes. I ain't thinking about, I ain't, I ain't thinking about no. what you're thinking. I mean, I'm real. I don't do male chauvinism. You're out. If I'm you, not saying it's right. No, but I'm saying you're going to leave her, even though of all the dirt that you've done. Yeah. Wow. There's only one more spot left. This is a little nerve wracking now. It's like three dudes getting cut. It. Who goes? I'm looking for love, baby. For me, he's at the bottom. Ladies and gentlemen, will y'all follow me upstairs, please? Let's go, let's go, let's go. It's a little nerve wracking now. It's like three dudes getting cut. It. You know, I came here to find my one, you know what I'm saying? What they said, like my rib. You know, you don't step out on a limb like this and look to go home the first night. It's been a fun night, right? 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 Yeah. All right, y'all have plenty of time to make connections. We started the night with eight men, but only five will make it from here. Two of those have already been told that they have made it to the next stage. Aaron and Alex. Right now. When I heard that Aaron and Alex were already safe, I was sitting back like, go ahead, y'all can talk. I, I didn't care at that point. My man was there. Mr. Shirt Puller. Oh, <laughs> so the question is, which other guys do they feel the same way about? Congratulations, Kappa. Michael. What? <laughs> Some of y'all had a tough time keeping Michael because he was glued to somebody. <laughs> That's definitely on you to correct, Michael, all right? But this experience is all about finding something real. Be careful to respect the people that are developing a connection. All right, Pastor Chris, Darnell, Paco, and Devin. There's only one more spot left. I'm gonna pull the men out, include myself and let y'all discuss this thing. This is your last chance to make sure the man you feeling the most continues on this journey. Come on, fellas. <laughs> if there was one that was top of your list to eliminate, who would that be? Bam, bam! Paco. Paco. I would say, I would say the same. I think I, I, think I holler about just about all of them, so you know, I shot my shot. Who goes? Darnell. Darn, that's our homeboy. I got plenty of homeboys yeah, and friends. We got no new friends. Now I'm looking for love. For me, he's at the bottom. That's right. We have to pick one man to keep. We've ruled out Paco and Darnell. But when it comes to Devin and Pastor Chris, this is going to be hard. You felt a connection with Pastor Chris. Yeah. He opened up. He told me exactly what he's looking for. I mean, I got a genuine connection. And that's important. Yeah. It's important to consider another woman's compatibility. Yeah. So, but that's one woman, though. I'm not here for Stormy. It's about what Shataba wants and what Shataba's looking for. Does that mean? No, it's not. I answered my own question. Talking about Devin, I'm really into someone that's about their business but he needs to listen more. Let me talk so that you can understand who I am. See, with me, we talked about his mother, we talked about his father, okay. his grandmother. Okay. 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 He makes me sit on the edge of my seat. Very stimulating yeah. conversation. Yeah. But you can just tell he sets himself apart. He set his business yeah. apart. Is he here for love or is he here for his business? I'm gonna choose Chris. Yeah, he loves the Lord. I want, I want a God fair man. The pastor. <laughs> Come on over and let me lay hands on you. You better stop for God strike you down, girl. <laughs> lay your hands on me, Pastor. I don't mind. Lay your hands on me, Pastor. That's cool. <laughs> but it's time to be a big girl, put your big girl drawers on, and make the real decision, and that's not my man. They're two different ages. They're gonna come at women a little bit differently. Yes. Pastor Chris had experience with women. Devin, he's learning. But I, I feel want a man like... who's learning. I want a man who's sure of himself. But should we send Chris home then? Because then we're blocking Stormy. She may be able to meet Devin and they may have a connection. Just because wow. one person has a connection doesn't mean we have to oh, no, save them for the one person. He said his one and 
There's no point in him being here. This season on Ready to Love. I want to be like Oprah. You get a man, and you get a man, and you get a man. I want to, like, rub noses right now. <laughs> I've already had sex with him in my head. Wait a minute. Wait, wait I have. a minute. You know what I want to know. Top three. They want the chocolaticity. They like the chocolaticity. I see you. I see you, too, and I like what I see. From here on out, the men will be doing the choosing. Hey, that's a Buckle up, because the girls are probably going to be really trying to give their A game. I hope y'all ready to play. Well, you know Mike going to come for me. OK, well, we'll see. I was so distracted by him, I didn't even really look at the menu. I see what I want. He asked everybody to leave. It was just me. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, I don't I, no. This is our clubhouse. This is what we chop it up. Yes, sir. One rule up in here, keeping it real. It just gives everybody a chance to really get some insight on how we talk as men. I don't want to take hope away from these women. You didn't let them on, man. When she came in there with all that makeup on. I ain't gonna lie, I'm judging her. And that's not right, but I'm just being honest. I don't trust people who don't drink. He tripping. You are too let strong you for your something. own good, I'm too strong for you. In Jesus' name. Show me exactly what I'm supposed to do. To start from square one again, that's me risking it all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I hurt you. For women and men to do better, it is time to keep it real. I'm not going to play with your heart. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, <laughs> bless you. <laughs> Who is going to be my hero? That's the question again. I'm ready to find forever. The hit dating series returns. Subscribe to our channel for more Ready to Love.